Okay, now we are... Okay. So set up with the machine. Plug in. Plug in, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. You go in. You choose, oh, yeah, yeah. choose a program. Right now we want to run some RITs. Select. Okay, save current program, that means if you have a, 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 an, a, another program and you, you click, you select OK, you will save the, the existing program, right? Yes, yes. Okay. We can do that right now. That's OK. Continue with current batch. OK. Yes. Go to run. OK. Now, so you, have, now you have to decide how many outlets you're going to use. Right now, we are using class A, it's active. We are also using class B, it's also active. Class A is going to lane 3, class B is going to outlet 4. You go in here. You want to set up your quality. Okay, you say it. In, uh, in here again, everything that's green is active. So right now we're looking for the dry, cut, rot, growth cracks, curved, green, and black spots. Okay. Every time you put a potato through, it'll come up with a value here. Sorry, here. This is the actual value of the last potato that went through. Here, that's your limits. So if the potato comes up with a value that are lower than what you put in here, it'll be accepted in here. If it's higher than just one of them, it'll not be accepted in here. Like the potato that just went through here has a value here for black spot that is 109. The maximum you accept is 100. That means it's not accepted in this class. We go out, we go into class B, the now the potato will try to go in here and see, can I be accepted in here? And you look again, you look at all the values, and you can see here, black spot, it's not active here. So, it's accepted in here. So the last potato that just went through, would go in here, class B. If you have a potato, that gets a higher value than what you accept in here. It'll go out here again and see, okay, this is not active, not active, not active, not active. That means it'll be rejected. Okay. Okay. If we go down here, we can set up the size we want for that class. We go in again. Now we can see right here, circular mask is active. The smallest one we allow. The biggest one we allow. So it has to be between those two numbers to be accepted in here. That was class A. In class B, there's no sizes active. Length, circular mass, volume, none of them are active. That means we don't care about the size here. So here we want everything from, everything between those two numbers we want in here, and here we really don't care. Down here, it'll tell you how much you're running per hour. This tells you the maximum you can run per hour. Weight-wise, if you change that, you'll see the amount of potatoes that go through. Again, the same, the first number is how much you're running right now. And the next one is how much it can run with this size, the maximum. Now, 
Well, if you want to uh, to, to add one the C, and it, how do we can? If you want to select the C now, you want to activate it. Yeah. This is with the third class, right? If we want to use another class, let's say we want to split it in one more quality, or we want three different sizes, then first we have to go in here and we have to activate it. Go out again. Now you can see we have three classes activated. And then we need to go in and set up the parameters again. What is it we want to look for? And if we want any any sizing on it, we need to activate that as well. And of course we need to figure out which conveyor we want it on. If we want it on one, it's already on one. If we want it on two, we change it to two. Now it goes to two. Okay. And you can have the length. For example, on the C, you will you like to have a certain length, so you can by length. Instead you go of in here, you activate length. We say the smallest one we want is two. The biggest one is three. We can have that. Just remember one thing. The potato will always try to go into class A first. If it's not allowed to be in there, it'll go here. If it's not allowed here, it'll go here. That means, if we have a potato that has this length here, but it, it's also, it also fits in right here, then it will go in here. This is always highest priority. So, so if you say, okay, my highest priority is the length, it's not the circular mass, then you need to swap those two classes. Then you need to put that over here and that over here. So right now, the circular mass has highest priority. So that means if the potato can be in here, it'll be in here. If not, it'll try here and then here. And right now, because we don't have any, any sizing, activated here that means that everything can go here that means that there will never come any potatoes here so we should actually put that over here and then no size criteria is here that would be the right way to set it up so we should go in and do it like this let's say two two three then we don't care here. That means first everything that go here will come here, then here, and then we don't care. Okay. Take it off again. Perfect. Okay, and um, 